Hi there, this is AJ with Car Inspected, and today we're in the Toronto area looking at this 2015 Land Rover LR2 with 81,000 kilometers on it. Overall decent condition. Uh, we got some dings and scratches here and there, but nothing too bad at all. Uh, I did paint thickness verification throughout. I see no signs of accident or major damage or anything like that. Uh, like I said, as we should go through, we'll see a couple of chips and scratches and things like that. A little couple of scuffs, some things like this. Uh, hood looks good, no major issues here. A couple of rock chips here and there, but nothing too crazy. Front fascia looks pretty good. I see no big rubs or bangs or anything like that. There's little white stuff you see, you'll see throughout. Uh, they're not scratches, it's like some kind of residue from the soap or something. It's kind of all around everything. But it wipes right off, it's not an issue. Like I said, bumper looks good. Gaps all look decent, just as they should. A couple of leaves in there, but there's a little kind of scuffy scratches here and there. I took pictures of most of them. A couple of here and there. That's kind of hard to see in the video, but I did get better pictures of both of them. Uh, windshield looks good. It is original with no chips or anything of that nature in it. As well as all the other glass, that all is original. All Land Rover branded. Uh, down the passenger side here, we do have a couple of, again, little bumps. Nothing too bad. I think if you would like to, probably mostly if they, they would probably mostly polish out if you buff the vehicle. It's a little kind of open door rub here or something, uh, but it does not look like a dent. Most of it would kind of buff out. A couple of handle scratches, nothing past normal. And down the side here, there are a couple of these little guys here and there as well. Some edge chips on the door. Let's go around to the back. We got a couple of signs of uh, scratches and rubbage. We got some sticker residue and a couple of old stickers on here. All this stuff looks good other than that though. There are a couple of kind of bumps, scratches on the tailgate here, the hatch, whatever you want to call it. Um, yep, some of those, and then there's some on the spoiler here as well that you see. Once you come around this side, the driver's side looks pretty good. Again, tail lights you see, it looks pretty decent. Down this side, again, we have a couple of continued little scratches here and there, but no big dents or damage, anything like that. Roof looks good as well, no issues up there. Uh, driver's door, we do have a good amount of chippage along this edge here that you can see. And that goes up here as well. And as we go down this door, everything looks pretty decent with no real issues. And we, here we are back at the beginning again. So now we're gonna do wheels, tires, undercarriage. So the tires are a little older, they are 2013s. So they are older than the truck actually. And they do have, you can tell that they're getting older. There's about four to five, 30 seconds of tread. Uh, this one's okay, no major issues. Rims look good. This is just brake dust on them. Uh, front brakes are okay. They're, there's a bit of a lip on these rotors and there's probably about 30, 35% or so left on those pads, maybe less. Uh, so we'll see how they run when I drive it. Everything else looks pretty good, suspension-wise. Well, the axle boots and stuff all look pretty good. No leaks, no issues, struts look good. No signs of accidents or damage. All that looks pretty good in there. We'll go around to the passenger side front. And again, we have a 2013 tire, so that is a little older than the vehicle, with about five, 30 seconds of tread. Uh, brakes are similar, about 30% or so left on them. And underneath all looks good as well. Let's show the axle. All look pretty good. No signs of issue. And as we go underneath surface thrust here and there, you can see a little bit there. But the exhaust looks pretty decent with no real issues. All looks pretty good. Nothing past uh, normal. Probably better than normal, actually. We come around to this back tire. This is the passenger rear, right rear tire. Again, 2013, about 5, 30 seconds of tread. Looks decent, no major issues. Brakes in the back, you got some rust on there and a good amount of lip. And they're pretty pretty much done. There's probably about 15 to 20% on those rear brakes. Here we have a little, it's kind of like a, the inner wheel well weather guard is kind of starting to 
warp and peel out a little bit. I think it's probably just from age. Exhaust looks good. No issues there. And under here it looks pretty good as well. Rear axles, suspension components, everything looks pretty good. Got no complaints under there. And here we are, the last wheel, the driver's rear. There it is. Uh, this was a 2013 as well. It does have some sidewall damage. Got a big chunk going out of here. So that's not the best. Uh, we should probably hope to get that replaced for safety. 2013 tire again with about 5, 30 seconds of tread. And rear brakes, again, about 20% or so. As you can see, they're a little, little, little done. Under here, all looks pretty decent as well. Just like the other side, no signs of issue. Go in the interior. And here we have we have winter and summer mats. They all look in decent shape. These uh, winter ones got a little kind of stainage here and there. I mean summer ones, sorry. But under here, this looks good, no damage. And under here, we do have the spare with no issues, no rust. Everything seems to be there. All looks pretty good. Plastic panels all look pretty decent as well. A couple of uh, just little scratches here and there, but nothing too bad. There are also a couple marks here and there on the headliner that you'll see. But all this looks pretty good. A couple of little scratches here and there on the tailgate, but not too shabby. Does not have power tailgate. Goes down normal. Does have backup camera, as you can see right there. Right, where is it? There. Passenger side rear. Uh, this door panel looks pretty good. Just some superficial marks here and there. The handles, switches, everything looks good. You do have a little bit of rust bubbles starting at the bottom of this door here. You can see some of that and you'll see a photo as well. As we go here, uh, seats look pretty decent. There are some kind of poke scratches right here in this seat. Other than that though, it looks pretty good. It does work, does exactly what it should, with no issues, they all do their thing. Carpets look decent, no real issues. Seat backs are good, no rips or tears. And all this stuff uh, works, looks good, just as it should. There's the passenger front. This looks good as well. Uh, no rust in the door like the other one. Door panel looks pretty nice with no issues, as well as the seat. Power seats work as they should. Uh, stitching, everything looks pretty nice with no issues. Belts look good. For the most part, the good cleaning and everything would look pretty nice in here. Dash looks good. Uh, a couple of kind of scratchy kick marks on here. Owner's manual right there. Carpets look decent, little boot mark there, but that'll uh, obviously come up. Screen looks good, no issues there. Headliner looks good for the most part. Uh, you'll see some of those stains in the back, like I said. A couple of marks, nothing too big. Uh, driver's side, this door panel looks pretty decent. No, no major issues, just some kind of random marks here and there. And again, no rust in the bottom of the door. Carpets look good, this seat looks good. No issues here, no weird, a little, little white mark, but other than that looks good and these work as well, but no issues. All this looks pretty good. The, uh, the sunshade also looks good. Not ripped or torn or anything like that. So that is all good. Finally to the driver's side. This door panel looks pretty good. No overly Noticeable wear and tear, looks pretty decent. A couple of kick marks on the bottom here, and the doors do look pretty decent. Uh, the rest of this looks pretty good. Power seats work as they should. Carpet, no rips or tears, all looks pretty good. And this dash on this side is decent. Uh, everything seems to work. No wear on the steering wheel, no issues. This seat looks nice as well. Uh, Bolsters are pretty nice for the age. No real problems. And as we get in, all this looks pretty good as well. We do have all our uh, descent and traction control and 
lock thing, all this stuff is all there. Uh, we are going to start the car real quick. A little exhaust flap as you start it, you can hear it's kind of weird. Uh, I think it's just the way they are. Sounds fine, is it running? No issues. Now, for all our mechanical checks, we went through everything. Uh, engine looks good. No real issues. We do, there's a little bit of, uh, I think somebody probably lubed up this pulley. There's a little bit of lube on the, on the end there. Other than that though, it looks pretty decent. I see no leaks or any issues. Oil looks good. Uh, could probably use a changing, it looks a little older. But we are good with no major frothing. Uh, we did an analysis of it and we got a green light on that. So we have no, no problems, all looks pretty good. Uh, coolant is good at negative 27. So we're okay there. Uh, any colder temperatures we might uh, mix a little better, but it is pretty good for now. Uh, brake fluid and battery on, under this cover. Brake fluid is at 0%, so we're good there with no issues. The battery was uh, about 12.5 and, and charging at 14.6, so perfect as we should. Other than that, again, I see no major issues. Everything seems pretty decent. I did an OBD scan. There are a couple of history codes, uh, but nothing, per nothing current. And nothing permanent so you will see those codes in the report and other than that it is what it is we're going to take on our test drive now and make sure it drives well as usual thanks for watching and we'll see you next time